Hi, this is Fred with Finale Inventory. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a purchase order in Finale. So first, let's look at our products. So we have two. I have black polo shirt and white polo shirt. And if we go to look at the attributes, I have a standard buy price set up, and we can also configure a supplier price specific to the supplier. So let's say this particular supplier, we get a bit of a discount. This supplier, we get an even bigger discount. So now that we've got our products configured, we can create the purchase order. So we're going to go to New Purchase. Finale lets you use a system generated PO number or we can type our own. If you want to change the sequence number, you can always do that from the Actions drop down menu to set the next order ID. So we're going to use the system generated order ID. And this is what the PO looks like. Right? So from here, we can choose things like our supplier. Let's choose sourcing. You can add the estimated receive date. So let's say this is going to come on Halloween. Specify where you're going to receive the inventory. If you want to, you can also add things like terms. Now this is an optional field, as is shipping. So let's say this is going to come second day, UPS. And then we have the shipping addresses. If we wanted to, we can also adjust them by clicking this link, which lets you choose from a set of presets, or we can manually type in our own values. Let's go back to the purchase order. Finale also lets you use custom fields if you want. So if there's a detail that you need to have on the PO, whether on the document itself or just stored within Finale, you can create a custom field for it. And then we're going to add the products. So I'm going to either type into this field or we can go to products view which gives us a list of all of our products. So let's go ahead and type in 10 of each. And when we go to our purchase order, you can see the price and the products have already populated. Now from there, we can change the supplier. And you can see how that pricing changes based off of the supplier. That's because we configured the product to have supplier-specific details. Now with no supplier chosen, you can see it's just our standard buy price of $14.99. So let's say we're going to get this from Sourcing Incorporated. Now, once we have all the details configured, we can mark the purchase order committed. We can also choose to print or email the purchase order straight out of Finale, or we can print the document with a barcode to use with the barcode scanner. Right, and this is an example of one of the documents. Now, when we email the purchase order, what we do is we send this off as a PDF attachment. Now once this order is committed, which tells Finale that the order has been placed, it'll also satisfy any reorder needs if you're using a reorder PO. We can go look at our inventory, and you can see at a glance the available quantity is 10, and the on order quantity is also 10. But the quantity on hand is still zero because we have not received it yet. We can also expand the line item details to see information like your ETA, the PO number, who are you ordering it from, and the quantity that's on that PO. Now going back to that purchase order, you can also adjust things like discounts, fees, you can add shipping, taxes, any of those types of adjustments Finale lets you add, and we also support landed cost. And those adjustments can be configured to allocate either by quantity, subtotal, or by items weight. Now the next step is to receive the shipment. So please watch the next video on purchase order shipments. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at service at finaleinventory.com. Thank you.